Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFroder.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a really cool new app called Sidebar. Right before I get to that, I just want to remind you, this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. So head over to AndyTags.com for really cool Android-themed NFC stickers, tags, and all that good stuff. Check them out after the review. So Sidebar Pro is basically an app launcher. Um, not too dissimilar from Wave Launcher, which I reviewed before, um, but it takes it's sort of a different take on uh, the same uh, principle. And uh, it's really cool, cool enough that I now use Wave Launcher and Sidebar both on my phone. So let's hop on my phone so I can show you how it works and why I think it's a, a great app that uh, everyone should check out. Okay, so uh, looking at my notification bar, you can see Sidebar has an ongoing notification. Um, that's to right now it's used to keep it in memory and also to access the settings um, Eventually, I think the developer is gonna come up with a way to keep it in memory without having to have that um, But like I said, it's a new app and uh, it's being worked on and developed every day So there are updates constantly. So I'm sure in the next few months this will be optional Because um, I would prefer not to have it but for right now it does you do want to put that in there. Um, you can take it off, but if you take it off, your Android phone will kick it out of memory rather fast. So to keep it in memory, you want it up there. And the reason you want to keep it in memory is because Sidebar isn't an app that you launch from uh, an icon. It's an app that's always available. I have mine set, so all I gotta do is flick right there, and there you go. As you can see, it brings up this little bar that has uh, all the apps I want quick access to. Um, and then if I hit the return button, it goes away, or if you press anywhere else on your screen, it'll go away. But uh, it's great. Uh, I have the LED. It has some utilities you can do. So I have the LED light, because that's something I might want quick access to, as well as all my camera apps. Because I discovered that even though I had all my camera apps in a folder, sometimes getting to that folder took too long. Um, and with this, and what's great about it is it's accessible wherever you are. So let's, for example, open up my email. And even in my email, if I flick right there, then there it is. So whatever app you, you are inside of, uh, you can access that. Let's go to Dill News, an app I reviewed before. And again, if I flick right there, there it is. They all pop up and they're ready to go. Um, this bottom one that I have set up right there, if I click that, that's in recent apps. And so if you add recent apps to your sidebar, then you can get a nice little tray of recent apps whenever you click that button. So let's go into settings so you can see. Um, again, I pull down notification and click sidebar. And you'll see. Uh, it's very simple, has a very hollow uh, theme to it. Uh, basically you can turn it off so if you were I can't imagine a game that would require f touch way up here in the top corner but uh, if you have one like that you could turn it off during that game so you don't activate it accidentally um, start on boot you probably do want that on notification icon uh, like I said right now you probably do want to keep that uh, I think the developers working on a way to to, for it to be able to hold in memory without necessarily having that. Um, but it's there. And then you can decide the thickness of it. So let's, I'm going to turn that up just so you can see. Um, transparency, animation speed, uh, sensitivity, height. So see, as, as I change the height, the bar gets shorter and longer. So you can have it be all the way down the screen, or you can have it just be in the top corner. So I have mine just an average, so I don't have to get it too exact. Um, just the top sort of one-third of my screen uh, but you can adjust the height of the bar and then the position so I have it in top right but you can have it anywhere you want it so I can move it to top left and it would be over there or I could move it to bottom left and it would be over here uh, but I have mine in top right and it's perfect for me because I have wave launcher set to launch from the bottom here uh, let's see if I can show you See, wave launcher, which is similar because I hold down there and then I drag up and it pops up with a list of things I can launch really fast. 
and now I have sidebar there too. So once you, and you can have it set to vibrate, so you can vibrate it. You can also change the color scheme. Um, so as you saw, I had it on purple. Let's change it to red just to check that out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple settings. Um, and then you uh, edit the bar. Now if I want to, there's the red. And you saw I, I made it bigger. So now it's really, really fat. Um, and I just accidentally launched that app. Let's get out of that. And it adjusts with you with the orientation. Um, so if you want to add stuff, you click the plus button. And you'll see it'll populate uh, an apps list of all the apps on your phone that you can add. And then it also has built-in widgets. So you can go to your app drawer, you can toggle Wi-Fi, toggle Bluetooth, GPS, sound, uh, rotation, brightness. You can even have music controls. Um, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, the other ones which are already on there, uh, which is the LED light as well as the, uh, uh, the LED light and the recent apps, um, which I have on mine. So anyway, uh, that's, that's pretty much what it does. It's just very, uh, very cool, very customizable. Um, let's make that small again because that's way too big. And uh, there you go. So wherever you are, you have those apps, whatever you, whenever you need them, right there. So that was Sidebar. As you can see, very cool app, and I love the way that it makes uh, uh, whatever apps you want or settings you want uh, accessible to you all the time, anywhere from wherever you're on your phone, it's right there. So, uh, and it's new, so the developer is still working on it. I'm sure uh, three months from now, it's gonna have even more really cool features. So sidebar, uh, check it out for free on the Google Play Store. If you like this review, please click the like button, um, share it with your friends, family, whoever you want, via Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and all those means. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.